Hello everyone and welcome to our little analysis of the top game of the uh, Super League between Trabzonspor and Fenerbahce Istanbul or Fenerbahce Spor Kulübü. So, let's take a look at the last meetings of this both teams. <coughs> the last meeting ended with a draw that was in 2012 in September. Um, the meeting before was a 1 to 3 for Fenerbahce. Goals from Baroni, Yilmaz, Bienvenu y Belo Soglu. Okay, let's continue our little analysis with a look at the performance of both teams. <coughs> and as you can see, uh, Trabzonspor has a performance of 43% and Fenerbahce has a performance of 64%. That means that Trabzonspor has lost the last uh, game in the Super League. Um, yeah, with uh, 2 to 0 and um, that match before they won against Gaziantep Sport. And the match <laughs> before they lost and so on and so on. Because this shows um, that um, this team is um, not very consistent at the moment. <coughs> um, yeah, on the other hand, Fenerbahce has a performance of 64%, but they only played a draw against Bad Borisov in the uh, Europe League. They won against Mersin, but lost against Sivaspor. So they are uh, also not very consistent at the moment. <coughs> but they are in the third place in the Super League. Trabzonspor is in the tenth place only, with 27 um, points. <coughs> they only won 10 games. Fenerbahce won 21 uh, matches against Trabzonspor, with nine draws. <coughs> yeah, the um, best um, scorer for uh, Trabzonspor is Olkan Adin with four goals. And also Adrian Mirchevsky has four goals. Halil Altintop, former Bundesliga player, has three goals. And for Fenerbahce, the most successful player when it comes to goals is Musa So with nine goals. Um, Dirk Koit has six goals. So let's take a look at the uh, players with the most assists. That's um, Alassinio for Trabzonspor with four assists. Olkan Adin with three assists. Coit has 5 assists for Fenerbahce and Baroni has 3 assists. Yeah, at the end of um, my little analysis, let's take a look at, um, at the places the teams um, had um, yeah, in the whole um, season. Um, yeah, Fenerbahce, um, as you can see, always um, has been in the top places in the Super League. Um, at the ninth, um, or how can I call this? Um, and they only were uh, in the eighth place one time, and um, all the other times they were in the top four. Trapson Sport, they are really on a downswing, and they are only tenth at the moment. So, um, yeah, I think they will not qualify themselves for the EuroLeague. So, um, to come to an end. My tip for this game is that um, Fenerbahce uh, will win. <coughs>